Hello, hello, hello. So excited. Welcome, Crossroads Witches and other interesting magical beings. I am shooting a video that I think is pretty damn important. And I hope you witches and other folks out there really take to heart these words. Because first, uh, they're said with a lot of kindness. But I almost feel like I need to just have a little bit of a, a witchy rant. Uh, just a sermon on the mountain moment. We're talking about don't touch the spoon. What am I saying? I'm saying when someone's stirring up on that cauldron, they're stirring negativity. They're, they're saying stuff. They're doing stuff. If you touch that, you're going to get ick. You cannot unstir negativity. All right? No matter how hard you try, and I know some of you witches have got good intentions. You think, well, if I just say this. No. All right? When folks have shown you who they are, what they're truly about, it is time to back out of the room slowly, all right? You ain't got to say anything. You ain't got to do nothing. But back out of the room. Get out of that situation and go find you some folks that stir their cauldron with positivity, with encouragement, with empowerment, with inspiration. Because that is what a good cauldron is about. And I know we've got a lot of stuff with the social media platform. Somebody says something. She said this. You say that. And you get in these texts. Texts are flat. They're not the true experience of us conveying words. So I always encourage folks, limit your texts. If you got something to say beyond a couple of sentences, you need to be doing it eye to eye. All right? If you can't say it looking in their eyes, you probably ought not be saying it in the first place. And also, please give people the benefit of the doubt. The same benefit that you want put on you when I know, uh, you know, you text out, you type something, send it off, and then the person perceives it another way. Okay? Um, and, you know, you can have a little bit of a kerfuckle there for a second. And it's just misinterpretations of the meanings of words, the, con the context, the tone, the way it was said, all of those things. So when we're on social media and we're in text or even in video, I know I've said some stuff that I've gone back and thought, ooh, I could have said that better. All right. Uh, be kind. Be encouraging. Be empowering to each other. That is what witches standing in a circle are about, not tearing each other down, all right? And some folks don't even realize they're doing it, you know? They're just stirring negativity. Oh, she did this. Oh, he said that, all right? If you touch it, you're, you cannot. You're going to get the ick on your finger is what I'm saying, witches, all right? There is nothing you can say or do that is going to change the direction of it. I'm just telling you what I have learned because I have touched that spoon. I've I'd be like, oh no, we'll make it different. Oh, well, let me do this. And uh, there's also been times I've added to it. I'm going to be honest with you, all right? You know, um, I have had some dumbass witchy moment and somebody said something to me and I'll be like, uh-huh, let me tell you what I think, all right? And then having to go back and do that self-reflection to deal with what I did, all right? Don't matter what those other folks are doing. What matters is what I did. And holding myself accountable, okay? That's what you need to do. This is between you and divinity as you know it. This is your vows that you've taken to Santa's circle. This is the... The, the, uh, the morals, the ethics what, that you wrote in your book, that you're going to be kind to folks. You're going to try to live your life better, strive to do better. You need to hold yourself accountable and look at those moments where when somebody's saying something, somebody's whispered up in the corner, what are you going to do? And what I'm going to tell you is graciousness and dignity. All right. That will echo in the mountains. 
a fool's words, they get lost. They got no staying power, all right? And, and one of the most, uh, what is it, adages, wisdoms that I ever heard was, don't argue with a fool, because folks won't know the difference. When folks are looking, all they see is two fools arguing. Don't be one of the fools, all right? Don't let somebody bring you in to their shit. Because most of the time that's what's happening. These folks have got their own personal battles, insecurities they've got going on, a sense of not feeling self-worth, and they're projecting it on others. So and look at the source and understand this person is really probably hurting, all right? They, they got their own battles, what's going on in their own homes. Uh, it just probably ain't good. Uh, and, and dumping on them is not going to change your health. There is nothing you can say or do that's going to change these folks. They have to do it for themselves. They have to learn to start the cauldron in a positive way. All right? Uh, I hope, like I said, this is a little bit of a rant because I, I had my own situation we all get our own situations, and I realize uh, that, that if I touch this spoon, ain't nothing good going to come of it. Ain't nothing good going to come of it. And I wanted to pass that wisdom on to you, especially many of you beautiful young witches who I know are leaning in. I've had an influx of subscribers, and I want to say thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you. That is part of what inspires me to make these videos, is when you leave comments, thumbs up, and all those things. You send me questions, and, and actually some really good questions. Uh, that is what this is about for me. That's what this channel is about. I've been doing it now for just over three and a half years, uh, where I decided that it was you know, time to to put my voice out there, so to speak. Um, knowing that I bring a lot of experience and wisdom from standing in circles, uh, from being in magical spaces for 40 years now. Uh, the House of Witchcraft was this dream in the making that, that when we were able to create it, I was so, oh, what's the words? Grat grateful, uh, the state of gratitude over it. And the House of Witchcraft is about community so that we do have positive places to go to. And if you are interested in the House of Witchcraft, please go to houseofwitchcraft.com. You can join our 13 Moons community where it is the opportunity for you to take a, a vow to dedicate yourself to working 13 full moons and being in a community that is going to encourage you, inspire you, and empower you. All right? I just want y'all to know that some of that negativity out there, that's just little blobs. We got good positive things going on too. And if you've had a bad experience with a group, that's not the entirety of our community. That's just one experience. All right? And if you have to have five bad experiences to get to the one good group, I'm going to tell you it's worth it. And I'm also going to tell you that sometimes I think the universe does make it a little hard. They want to know if you're worthy. All right. But always remember our temples are in the highest of places. All right. Are in the lowest of the caves where we have to move. We have to work at it. It is in faith that we walk these places. And you need to do it with gratitude, all right? With that, you know, I, I keep going back to the, the negativity. Don't get in it, all right? And I'm going to leave this video at that, which is, I hope all of y'all take a little wisdom and that you work on making other folks' days a little brighter with your words when you get the opportunity. All right, I keep saying goodbye, and this time I mean it. So y'all go out there, you fly those brooms, have a bright, blessed day. Uh, thank y'all so much, and as always, amen, bless be, ashe, and 
It's the bell. Woof. Here's one to the goddess. Gotta give them words up and find them. I gave him the microphone. I tried putting the microphone on my lapel and then I stood up and I twirled around and I fell down. So I gave him the microphone. He seems to be doing much better with it. He hasn't gotten tangled up in it at all. <laughs>